Hey guys, back again. Let's talk this time about character development. Specifically, I want to talk about the old saying, show, don't tell. Now usually when this is applied, people tend to apply it to movies and TV because that is the visual medium, but it also works when we're talking about books. Now, this is not a, uh, like, I'm not going to try and tell you, you should always show, not tell. There are times you want to tell. There are times you want to uh, deliver an info dump to your readers because you don't want to be doing a million words on just setting up the plot that you want to uh, talk about. If you were describing the life of somebody here on Earth today, we don't want to start the story back in the Big Bang, for example, and tell the entire history of Earth up to this point until we finally get to the character we want. You're going to have to tell some aspects of your world. But it is a good rule of thumb, particularly when dealing with two types of characters, to show, not tell. What characters those are? Your protagonists and your antagonists. With your protagonist, it's obvious. Your hero character, you want to see him develop. You want to see all of the incidents that uh, really form his character, leading up to the point where the readers can be cheering behind him or her. With the antagonist, it's important for a slightly different reason. It's important because you want the readers to feel a sense of accomplishment when the hero succeeds. You know, and if you have a villain character that um, really hasn't had any development, then it just feels like a cardboard cutout being knocked down. This is an area where I am, in particular, I'm quite guilty of. Uh, I don't develop my villain characters nearly as well as I should. Many times I don't even have villain characters. I have situations. And it's a weakness that I really feel like I'm, I want to work on. In fact, in the book that I'm working on right now, I am trying to develop an antagonist that the readers are going to consider it an accomplishment when the hero uh, succeeds, assuming he does, knowing how I write. Well, anyway, we'll, we'll get to that. You know, but what does show, not tell really mean? It means that you're going to want to create specific situations, specific scenes, that are going to illustrate each of the core development points you want your character to go through doesn't mean you have to show them learning every new skill. Um, but you do have to show these specific key, for, key points in time that illustrate where they've come, how far they've made it. And you don't want to jump from he's a neophyte to he's a grandmaster. Okay, you want to have several points in between. Not necessarily training, but interactions with other characters, or uh, fight scenes, or whatever it is that fits the character trait you're talking about. You want to describe these scenes. You want the readers to be in these scenes, not reading about them, oh yeah, this happened. You want them to be there while it's happening. Because that's going to have the reader feeling like they're along for that journey. So when you're working on your uh, stories, Work out what the character arc you want your uh, hero and your villain to go through is. And then keyframe it. Okay, that means figure out exactly what uh, scenes are going to be needed in order to illustrate each point of their developmental arc in whatever it is, you know, they're developing. If you have a hero who's going from, you know, the naive youth, Luke Skywalker, for example, you're going to want to keyframe specific places that show his development. Um, you know, his training, his first victory. Uh, you know, uh, all of these things have to be told. They have to be uh, scenes, sorry, shown. They have to be shown. They have to be scenes that the readers fall into, that the readers are along for the ride, not something that you are informing the readers happen. And in many ways, this is one of the more difficult tricks to pick up. Not so much because we don't understand the idea of show, not tell, but because it can be difficult. It can be slow to, to build, do a proper build. And we tend to try and rush it because we want to get to the hero scene. We want to get to that climactic battle or uh, whatever that scene is that you're developing that you've got for the very end of your story. You want to get there. You 
But it's important to remember that getting there, that's the last 10%. And if you don't build it up properly, then the readers aren't going to feel the impact that you want them to feel as you're writing it. And delivering on that impact is what we all want to do as writers. So, show, don't tell, unless telling is more appropriate. We'll do more on that later. All right, guys. Happy writing. I hope you're all doing well. And, uh, yeah, see you next time.